In this quick demonstration, we're going to look at the jog command. So in the sheet metal application, we have two plates here. I've got a green plate and a blue plate. And maybe I've got a situation where I want to jog the blue plate up over the green plate. The way we do this is I've created a sketch as a defining point for the start of my jog and we run the jog command. Jog command inputs are looking for a curve and a target face. If I select the curve, it automatically selects the target face as the curve is already sitting on that face. And we can see with the default values, we've generated a jog. So some of the options we can do within this jog command, we can of course adjust the height, both graphically or from within the dialog. We can adjust the angle, both graphically or within the dialog in both positive and negative directions. And we can then further look at some different options here in terms of reverse side, where we can flip the direction from the sketch. We can look at the height reference, where the dimension from the sketch to the inside material or from the sketch to the outside of the material, depicted with inside and outside. And of course the inset, which is the relevance of the position of the bend of the jog feature to the sketch line. So this is material inside. If we put the angle back to 90, you can see clearly all the material is inside. Material outside, it just offsets by the material thickness. And bend outside, it starts the bend from the bend line. And now we can adjust this and generate the kind of output that we, we desire. So what I'm going to do here is just jog this up by the material thickness. My material thickness is 1.5. I set my height reference to outside and we can see we've, uh, we've pushed that up by 1.5. But say my material thickness changes. What we can easily do here is use a formula function and put in the actual material thickness as the value to make everything parametric. Now my jog is the material thickness, so it will work even if the material changes. I can still adjust my angle to something suitable. Uh, let's just go 30 degrees here. And uh, we've got our jog. Now in this situation, I've got some overlap here, and I don't want to jog right the way across. So that's controlled by the length of the sketch line and this extend section toggle. If I turn this off, we can see that the jog is only impacted up to the end of the section line, a relief is added, and the rest of the material is left untouched. So a fairly powerful but simple command for interfacing different plates within the sheet metal application.